We're at part three of 10 celebrities who are surprisingly Muslim. So we got another exciting episode coming up right now. What's going on guys? My name is Leroy Kenton and you are watching FTD Facts. And by the way, before I jump into this episode, just gotta let you know that I'm taking requests right now for future episodes. And I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do part three, do more celebrities who are Muslim. So here it is. Starting at number 10, we have Asif Manvi. Now he is an Indian and American actor and he's appeared in many Hollywood films such as Spider-Man 2 as well as Die Hard with a Vengeance, The Internship. Aside from acting though, he's also a writer as well as a co-producer on the HBO series The Brink. Now he's brought up his religious views to the main stage as a former senior Muslim correspondent on The Daily Show. Next up we have Jemima Khan, popular British Pakistani journalist and here is Jemima Khan who now goes by her family name Jemima Goldsmith was born and raised Jewish but as she grew up her faith shifted to Islam. Now this was when she got married to her ex-husband Imran Khan who is a legendary Pakistani cricket player as well as now the current Prime Minister of Pakistan. Although the couple has divorced Jemima Khan still practices the faith. All right, number eight, we have Hakeem Olajuwon. Hakeem Abdul Olajuwon is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Now he led the Houston Rockets to back-to-back -back NBA championships in the years 1994 and 1995. And he also won the NBA Finals MVP in both of those years. He was nicknamed the Dream because how he just carried himself through the games. Olajuwon began using proper Arabic spelling of his name when he became a more devout Muslim in the year 1991. Cat Stevens is at number seven. He converted to Islam back in the year 1997 and he changed his name and he auctioned off all of his guitars and he left behind a very successful music career because he said that it went against his faith. Now several months after the 9-11 incident in America, he really surprised fans when he picked up a guitar for the first time in years and he said many Muslims have come up to me, shook my hand and said thank you, thank you. I'm representing the way they want to be seen. I'll always remember you like a child girl. Now the number six spot is Jermaine Jackson. Jermaine Jackson, brother of the late Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson, was raised as Jehovah's Witness and later converted to Islam. Unlike his sister Janet Jackson, it didn't take marrying a Muslim to change his faith. Jermaine took a trip to Bahrain and that trip changed his life. And in 2010, Jermaine Jackson in a BBC interview said, I felt that if Michael had embraced Islam, he would still be here today. Nas comes in at the halfway mark at number five. Now Nas grew up in a Muslim Christian home and he's really expressed his devotion to both religions in his music. Nas was born Nasir bin Aludara Jones to a Muslim father and a Christian mother in the year 1973 and he was raised in New York. He was also highly influenced by the 5% Nation which is an organization founded by a former member of the Nation of Islam, Clarence Edward Smith. And Nas also, he studied both the Bible and the Quran extensively and he has embraced the religions of both of his parents. Hip hop star Bust Rhymes is at number four and honestly one of the fastest rappers ever. He attributes a lot of his success to his Muslim faith which he has repeatedly said keeps him grounded. Back in the year 2007 he told Hollywood TV this, I try to really just understand every aspect about the most high. For me, the most high is Allah and I live my life by Islam. He says he tries to also enjoy his life and not add a bunch of other things that will really get in the way of his perspective on life. All right, so I had to include Muhammad Ali on this list. You guys wouldn't stop commenting, hey, what about Muhammad Ali in part one and part two? So Muhammad Ali was born Cassius Clay and he's a legendary boxing champion as well as an Olympic medalist. He was baptized as a Christian. However, in 1962, at the age of 20 years old, he was introduced to the nation of Islam. He was inspired and he changed his name to Muhammad Ali after he converted to Islam. And in the year 2005, it was reported that he began to follow the Sufism practice of the religion. Number two brings us Paul Pa. 
Pogba, the Manchester United midfielder. Paul Pogba is a Muslim who also fasts during the month of Ramadan every single year. He was also seen conducting a pilgrimage to Mecca. Taking this pilgrimage to Mecca is one of the five pillars of Islam. Paul Pogba was born in France to Guinean parents and he has two older brothers, twins actually, Florentine and Matthias. Paul also plays for the France national football team. And in at number one, we have Gigi Hadid. So the 24 year old model Gigi Hadid was born Yelena Hadid, whose father is Palestinian and her mother is Dutch. She's also Muslim. Outside of becoming one of the most sought after models in the industry, she also made headlines when her and her sister Bella Hadid protested against Donald Trump's Muslim ban announcement. She also has been seen with her former boyfriend Zayn Malik, apparently celebrating the Muslim holiday Eid al Adha. Alright, guys, so that ends this episode about 10 celebrities who are surprisingly Muslim. Let me know down below in the comment section which of these celebrities did you actually know followed Islam? Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Also, if you have any suggestions and requests for any future FTD Facts episodes, sound off down below as well. And for everyone that made it to this end screen, here's a video that I highly recommend. Tap it right here, it'll take you straight to it. My social media links are also below in this video description section. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future FTD Facts episodes. Okay, since you post daily, I'm gonna see you all tomorrow. Stay awesome, stay educated. See you soon, guys.